एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In these videos, we are discussing very important periodic properties. So, in the first part, we discuss oxidation number. Like, what are the different oxidation number for different atoms in any compounds? There are different rules by which you can put these rules, and you can find out the value of oxidation number. In the second part, we are doing very important topic that is coordination number and different geometries. Welcome to West Chand Academy. Myself, Dr. Garima Gaba. If you want to read more about this topic, you can refer to the book by West Chand Publishing. The link of the e-book is given in the description box below. So let's move ahead with the second part. So our second topic is coordination number and different geometries. So we all have different number of friends with each other, with whom we share our secrets. Like some of us having two friends, some are having three friends, and so on. Similarly, with these compounds. Total number of points of attachment to the central element is termed as coordination number. So those friends are we are attached with them. So we are coordinated with them. We share our secrets with them. Similarly, with the case of these compounds, the total number of points of attachment to the central element is known as coordination number. It can vary from two to as many as sixteen. Like same way, some are having very less friends. Some are having very more friends. We are having very group, a large group of friends. so in that case same with the case of a central metal different coordination number are possible it can be very less like very few coordination very few coordination number are found plus 2 3 4 very limited and very high like different compounds different bonds are being formed and the coordination number is high in those case it can go as large as 16 but the most common is plus 4 and plus 6 why because they are most symmetrical one we know in the four in the when the coordination number is four the stable structure is formed which is known as tetrahedral very symmetrical and when we are considering coordination number and six the octahedral case is possible so both are very symmetrical structures that's why coordination number four and six are very common it is because ligands have the greatest distance from each other and the smallest steric repulsion so steric repulsion is one of the very important factor which will define what would be the coordination number if the steric hindrance is very high repulsion is very high it will not be able to attain the higher or coordination number and if the steric repulsion is less then the energy would be stabilized in that case generally smaller ions or the larger ligands favor the coordination number 4 over the coordination number 6 so when coordination number 4 would be uh, stable or would be favor as compared to coordination number 6 when your central metal ion is having smaller ion so when it is having smaller ion that means very less amount of ligands are able to come to that particular metal ion size charge and electron configuration of the metal ions and the ligand all influence the number of bonds so number of bonds are influenced by various factor like what are the sizes of both the metal and the ligands what are the charges what are the electron configuration and so on bigger the charge on the central ion the more attraction there will be for negatively charged ligands so it is an opposite charge attracts like the central one is positive species and the coming one are the negative one so in that case also or in otherwise if they are the normal coordinate bonds in that case also the positive species if it is having very high positive charge it will attract more negative charged ligand because of electrostatic attractions Okay, so the basic theory which we use for this is VSEPR theory, which the full form of VSEPR theory is valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. As the name defines, electrons repel from each other, right? So valence shell electron pair repulsion theory states that if electrons are repelling each other, so the structure would be such so that the repulsion can be minimized. the energy has to minimize to attain the stable configuration so if the energy would be less that means repulsion should be less in that case electron pair located in the bonds and lone pair repel each other and will therefore adopt the geometry that places electron pairs as far apart from each other as possible all the electron pairs and all the lone pairs lone pairs are those which are situated only one atom electron pairs are which are uh, coordinated or which are used by two atoms to form the bond so all these electron pairs and the lone pairs have to be situated in a such a way so that they are maximum distance apart 
if they are maximum distance apart they will not they will not uh, repel each other they would be the interaction between these lone pairs and electron pairs would be less shape of the molecule is determined by repulsion between all of the electron pairs in the valence shell so she, how can shape be defined whenever they will attain the maximum distance apart that will define what shape that particular coordination number compound will be having so let's see some of the very important example coordination number as we have already discussed it can vary from 2 till very large coordination number till 16 but usually till 6 or 7 is were very common and mostly compounds which are being formed is between these coordination number higher coordination compounds are very rare because of the steric hindrance so coordination number and geometry first coordination number is 2 that is the lowest coordination number possible so the geometry over here is your linear geometry like in this case so the central element is like this one ligand attached to over here and one is over here so the geometry which is possible is linear example is of this compound and the angle between them would be 180 degree that's why it is in the one line so the angle will be 180 degree so it is coordination number is 2 and the geometry is linear next is coordination number 3 now in this case three different geometries are possible trigonal planar trigonal pyramid and t-shaped geometry it depends on what type of metal are there what types of ligand are there so the central this atom is basically your usually metal or charged species and these are your ligands which are attracted towards it so trigonal planar geometry for example this compound different compounds are there planar means that it is only on one plane for example, if my central metal is over here, so it is having one over here, one on this corner, one on this corner, right? So it is in the one plane. It is not coming out of this board on the opposite side. It is on the one plane. That's why it is trigonal planar. Tri means three, planar means in one plane. So the angle between them would always be 120. Each angle, bond angle, which we say between the bonds is 120. Similarly, trigonal pyramid geometry, again it is trigonal, but it is in the pyramid. How the pyramid is there? If my this central atom is there, these three are like this. These three atoms are situated in below the plane as in the form of a pyramid. And what is a T-shaped geometry? Like we know the alphabet T is like this. So this is our central and these three are our ligands or the atoms which are attached to them. So these three different geometries are there for the coordination number three, trigonal planar geometry, trigonal pyramid geometry and T-shaped geometry. So these are very important. After three, coordination three number three, coordination number four as we have already discussed is very common. In coordination number four, we have two molecules or two geometries which are very common, tetrahedral and square planar. Tetrahedral geometry as I told you because this is very uh, very symmetrical geometry is found in most of the compounds. So for example nickel carbonyl complexes. So my this there are four bonds have to be attached. So if it is my central one, one is above and three is like this. We have discussed in the trigonal plane uh, pyramid geometry. So tetrahedral geometries are like this and usually the bond angles are between 109 something. Next is square planar geometry. Uh, many different uh, length uh, transition elements are shown this geometry for mostly in D8 or D7 cases. Like for example, this rhodium complex. Square planar geometry. This is my central atom and it is uh, forming bonds in all the direction. It is also a planar geometry. Like in the case of coordination number 3, we discuss trigonal planar the three bonds were there but in a plane similarly in square planar for example my center of this board is having center of this screen is having the central one and all four corners are having different atoms so this is basically square planar geometry and different compounds are known which are having square planar geometries the angle would be 90 degree because all four angles would be 90 degree then only the whole 360 degree will be completed so two most important geometries when coordination number four is there are tetrahedral geometry like this it is a very stable geometry but square planar geometry is also known to us in which different uh, coordination numbers or different transition elements show uh, geometry like square planar Next is coordination number 5. Now here also two different geometries are possible. Square pyramid and trigonal bipyramid. How square pyramid is being formed? Like for example as we have discussed in the case of coordination number 4. 
in a square planar over here square is there like my cent because five bonds has to be made now if my center of the screen is having one atom and the four are over here one comes out of the screen so total bonds becomes five so there are five bonds has to be made then only coordination number five is possible and square pyramid geometry is like this if it is my central one four are in one plane and one comes out of the plane either over here or over here in either of the case the geometry would be square pyramid what would be the angle see if in both the cases because they are in one plane so the angle between all the four or the bond angle would be 90 degree and when i am considering this plane and when when i know the fifth bond is being formed out of the plane either on the upward direction or downward direction in that particular case also the bond angle would be 90 degree because the four bonds are in this direction in one plane and one is above the plane or down the plane then the angle would be 90 degree so the angle between the bond which is coming out of the plane to all the four bonds which are in the plane are uh, is 90 degree please consider this as well square pyramid geometry uh, coordination number five five bonds has to be made so when my for example one central atom is denoted as a and all are denoted as five as b so my five atoms these are in single plane i can take it as b so because it is one plane like that in my screen so the angle would be 90 degree in each of this case and one fifth coordination number because one more bond has to be made so it is coming out of this plane in this direction and in the opposite direction then also the bond would be 90 degrees bond angle would be 90 degree so every bond angle for this square pyramid geometry is 90 degree and next geometry which is possible for trigonal bipyramid geometry is this one where they are the three bonds are there in one plane like in the case of trigonal planar and two bonds are coming out of the plane one in this direction one in the opposite direction so when this is my central atom three are coming in this plane each having 120 degree as we have discussed in the coordination number three and two bonds are coming like this one above and one below so these three are in one plane which are having 120 degree and these two are out of the plane one above the plane one below the plane so the bond angle between this and these are 90 degree similarly with these and these three are 90 degree but the bond angle between these two themselves would be 180 degree because one is on this side and one is on the that side so that is same as that of linear molecule so the bond angle would be 9 180 degree so these two geometries are very important for coordination number 5 coordination number 4 5 6 are very common so in coordination number 5 square pyramid geometry is there trigonal bipyramid geometry is there this geometry is having four in one plane and one out of the plane these are having this trigonal bipyramid geometry as the name suggests pyramid and bipyramid only one it is coming out of the plane bipyramid means both two are coming out of the planes so three are on one plane that's why it is trigonal bipyramid says both uh, two atoms are coming out of the plane in the opposite direction now next very most common coordination number is coordination number six which we have already discussed because they are they yields very symmetrical structure and higher coordination number gives steric hindrance to the molecule so three geometries are possible in this case as well coordination number six hexagonal planar trigonal prism and octahedral geometry so hexagonal planar means as the name suggests in only one single plane six molecules are being attached for example over here i have keep it like that so that you will be able to know that this is only one uh, plane for example this central metal is there or any hydride complexes are there and six are going in different direction one two three four are in corners and one and two in the center of the below and center of the top of the screen so this is my hexagonal planar geometry and you can divide the 360 divide by 6 and you can find out what would be the bond angle for this hexagonal planar geometry so it's given hexagonal that means six atoms are arranged planar means only in one plane no atom is coming out of the plane it is not coming second is trigonal prism 
Trigonal prism is having geometry like this. If you are able to know, this is my central. Three are coming on the top of the plane. Three are coming in the round of the plane. In hexagonal planar, every bond was in the plane. And in trigonal prism, none of the bond is in the plane. So, all three are coming out of this plane and out of this plane. So, three bonds are like this, three bonds are like this. So, this yields in the trigonal prism geometry because it looks like a prism. Octahedral geometry is very common. Octahedral is very symmetrical geometry. Over here, like in the case of trigonal pyramid or trigonal bipyramid, we consider like this is the case when four atoms are in one plane and two are coming out of the plane. When this is my central, like four are coming in the corners and one is above the above the plane and one is below the plane. So when my like for example on the board if I'll see this is my central metal and the four atoms which are coordinated to it are coming on the all the four corners. So what would be the angle 90 degree between each other and two bonds which are left one is coming from this side other is coming on the opposite side. So when these are bond four are on one plane one is over here one is over here. So what would be the angle which this this bond will make on this plane 90 degree. So, this angle as well is 90 degrees. Similarly, the bond which is on the lower, lower side, which is coming out of the plane from this side, that will also make an angle of 90 degrees. So, each angle, bond angle in octahedral complex is 90 degrees. That's why it is very symmetrical because every angle is same and it yields a very symmetrical structure. That is why in coordination number 6, the most common one is octahedral geometry. Most of the complexes are found in this geometry only. So, very important if you will see coordination number 4, 5 and 6 are the most common one. Coordination number 4, two geometries are possible, tetrahedral geometry and square planar geometry. Tetrahedral geometry is like this, square planar is like this, 90 degree angle. In coordination number 5, square pyramid and trigonal pyramid, as the name suggests, pyramid only one molecule is coming out of the plane and by pyramid, two molecules in the opposite direction is, are coming out of the plane. And coordination number 6, are uh, three types of geometries are possible hexagonal planar all the six bonds are in one plane trigonal prism which looks something like this and octahedral geometry which is a very symmetrical geometry and all the bond angles are 90 degree then the next some of the very important uh, property in the coordination number 7 and coordination number 8 as i have told you when we go into the higher coordination number very rare compounds are being formed because of the steric hindrances so Coordination number 7, coordination number 8, like in coordination number 7, three types of geometries are possible. Capped octahedron, capped trigonal prism and pentagonal biprism. So, this is the example, like in this case, we are having trigonal prism. Like if you see, the in the coordination number 6, we were having a prism geometry where three molecules are on the opposite side, like three on the upward side, three on the downward side and one is coming out of the plane. So, this is capped trigonal prism geometry and similarly this one, when we are having 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these are having pentagonal bipyramid geometry, one is above, one is downwards. So, this is my cap trigonal prism geometry, this is pentagonal bipyramid geometry. When 5 are uh, pentagonal means it defines 5 bonds, 5 bonds are in one plane, 2 are coming, 1 above the plane, 1 below the plane. So, total will become 7, that is the coordination number 7. Similarly, higher coordination number like coordination number 8, different geometries are possible, Do decahedron cube geometry, cube when all the all the bond like it, it occurs as a gift box. So, it are having 8 corners, in all the 8 corners different bonds are there. Square antiprism, hexagonal bipyramidal. So, these are some of the geometries of coordination number 7 and 8. Similarly, higher coordination number are very rare like coordination number 9, 10, 11, 12. So, these are some of the geometries. So, different uh, complicated structures are there which are difficult to for you to understand in just a plain paper but you will be able to know if you see the three dimensional structure. For example, coordination number 12. So, it is having cubo octahedral geometry. Cubo octahedral geometry is like this which is shown in the green figure. So, 12 coordination number like 6 are this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like 6, 6 bonds are in one plane, 3 are like this, 
3 are like this. So, this is my coordination number 12, cubo octahedral geometry, where 6 are in one plane, 3 are above the plane, 3 are below the plane. So, coordination number becomes 6 plus 3 above the plane plus 3 below the plane. So that is coordination number is 12. So, higher coordination number, as I have told you, is very rare and the structure which is shown is very complicated. So, 3D structures is possible. You can have a look into those videos and you can uh, see what is what would be the structure and how different bonds are coordinated with each other in these types of molecule. But these are very less stable and very rare molecules are there which are having higher coordination number. So, that is all for today's video. So, in this part of the video, we discussed various coordination numbers and their geometries. So, from low coordination number as low as 2 till 12, all coordination number possible. In fact, till 16 are also possible, but very rare complexes or molecules are there which are having coordination number more than 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. So, we discussed different coordination number and different geometries. The most common coordination number are 4, 6 and 5. So, for 4, four numbers, 5 numbers, 6 number, we should know what is the coordination number and how these molecules are shown in different geometries. So, it is very important topic for uh, understanding the periodic properties of elements as well. When your molecule is showing coordination number 6, so what types of geometry it will exhibit, whether it would be having octahedral geometry, whether it would be having trigonal bipyramid geometry in the case of coordination number 5. So, that is very important. And if you want to read more about this topic, then you can refer to the book by Estan Publishing. Please share, like and subscribe to our videos and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notification from Estan Academy. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.